Well, everyone, I made a big mistake. <sighs> Let's talk about it, shall we? <laughs> so I was just in the middle of shooting a kind of tutorial, kind of showing you how I was quilting my cozy picnic quilt. And I had planned out in my head how I wanted it to look. You know, I was fairly confident that it would look good, but now doing probably over half, oh, way over half of the quilting on the quilt, I kind of stepped away from my machine and I draped my quilt over my couch to kind of look to see what it looked like. I hate it. <laughs> it looks not good. It just doesn't look good. And I thought, well, I could just completely wipe all of this from <laughs> reality. I wouldn't have to tell my YouTube subscribers that I <laughs> did a really bad job quilting my quilt. But I think this is actually a really good way to show you that sometimes it doesn't work out the way that you plan and that's okay. <laughs> I was gonna try to do this really cool circular design and it was gonna look really neat and uniform, but I think I just didn't go about it the right way. I was trying to kind of use straight line quilting techniques to do it. I just was not being super precise and the look that I was going for, it needed to be super precise. So I think if I wanna do this type of design in the future, I would need to actually mark the entire quilt top with, a, with either a hero marker or with a marking pen and do the entire design marked. So I will show you. I used a, used a co the coloring page that I include in the, in the uh, cozy picnic pattern. And I do that. I use the coloring pages to kind of plan out the quilting. So this was what the quilting was supposed to look like. So it's going to be like a really cool kind of modern, just circular design. And I thought it would look really neat and it would look really neat. It's just my execution was not good. <laughs> and that's okay. You know, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed that it didn't work out well. Definitely frustrated that it did not work out. But I will show you what I did. Man, the camera is not gonna pick it up. Maybe if I show you the back, because the back is dark. Basically, I was trying to do kind of like a giant spiral, right? So, it started out okay, but it was quickly very herky-jerky. My widths between my stitch lines are not accurate. They're not the same. It just looks messy to me, and I really didn't like it. And then when I tried to add another circle in the design, I'll show you that up here. I tried to add another circle, and then where the circles were joining, coming together. That should have looked really cool. <laughs> Let me see if I can, oops, wrong way. Zoom in. But it ended up looking really bad. And there's weird peaks here that I don't know what happened, but apparently my stitching got way off and really herky-jerky. And it just looks sloppy and not what I want the quilting to look like, especially on the sample quilt for a quilt pattern <laughs> that I designed that I'm super proud of. I wanted to challenge myself and oops, hold on a second. A little too close. So I wanted to challenge myself and do a new type of quilting and I was very excited about it and I think I just kind of jumped into it without giving it enough practice. I did a practice sandwich and it was literally like this tiny little practice and that turned out pretty good. And I just thought, well, that went well, so the quilt will do fine. So <sighs> moving forward, this was going to be my video for the week. It was gonna be a tutorial on how to quilt. Uh, I might still do a tutorial on how I will quilt it. I'm kind of, debating on what quilting I want to do on it. 
I'm trying to decide if I want to just go a straight line quilting or if I want to do some kind of free motion. I've got a couple free motion designs that I know I know how to do that I think would look really nice on the quilt. So maybe I will ask you guys what you think I should do. That would be kind of fun. So on this quilt, do I do kind of like straight lines, like a crosshatch design like I've done before, which I think would look really great with this uh, quilt pattern. That was actually what I initially was planning on doing, but then I was like, no, I want to challenge myself. And then it's like, <sighs> probably should have just stuck with the crosshatch. But so do you think I should do that? Or do you think I should do, there's another kind of free motion quilting that is, let's see, let me draw it really quick so you can see what it looks like. I'll just draw it really quick in my planner here. Okay, so another option is a free motion design that looks kind of like this. And I've done this several times on quilts and it looks really cool. And <laughs> I know I'm good at that. So that's kind of like a boxy free motion, I guess you could call it. So do you think a boxy free motion would be good? Also, I'll be doing a tutorial on it. So you'll learn how to do it with me, right? But uh, so I could do that or I could just do, I was actually thinking as I was doing this terrible quilting, <laughs> that uh, wavy free motion would look really cool on this pattern. It would give it really nice texture and kind of give it some movement because it's such a, the blocks of this quilt are so boxy. It would be kind of cool to kind of have kind of like that wavy texture on the quilt top. So I could also do that. So those are the three options. Let me know what you think. I will put this video up here probably today just to let you guys know what's going on and <laughs> just just share that, you know, those of us who have decided to put our quilting adventures and everything out so, you know, thousands of people can see it, we make mistakes too. And I think it's kind of funny. We, I was sitting in your seat a year ago, okay? I haven't even had a, my YouTube channel for a year yet. I would see people just doing, just everything that they made was amazing. Everything that they made was beautiful. They never made, it seemed like they never made any mistakes. They never talked about making mistakes. And it, it, it's just kind of like, okay, well, maybe I'm not as good at this as I think I am. But I don't think that is true. I think I am good at quilting. I am good at free motion quilting. I love free motion quilting. I love straight line quilting. I attempted something new and it just didn't work out and that's okay. I'm sure I would be able to get a good handle on this design if I had gone about it a different way. I think moving forward for this quilt I will either do one of, one of those three options. So let me know in the comments below what you think I should do and I will do a tutorial on that. And, or if you have a different suggestion that you think might be cool, let me know, maybe I'll consider that. So anyways, I just wanted you to know that <laughs> I definitely make mistakes and I'm not afraid to share that. And I think that is a good thing. So I hope you guys have a great day today. Thank you so much for watching and I will, Talk to you soon. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>